Hey, it's all about you time. I actually am in my car waiting on my daughter to come out of all county practice. She she plays the violin. And uh, I'm sitting in here and I said, oh my goodness, it's 8 o'clock. I'm not home yet because they haven't come out yet. But guess what? I got some good news for you. I wanted you to know that you are really special to God and that he has so much planned for you this year. But like Kobe Bryant, we got to turn it up. We got to put in our work. We got to make sure that we are doing what we're supposed to be doing. I had uh, the pleasure of uh, going to a leadership class and they actually did a class on Kobe, the mindset of the black mama. And the way they broke that thing down, and they showed us some videos of Cobra talking about his work ethic. And I had to check myself. I was like, Sharon? And myself said, huh? I said, Sharon, do you know you have to do more? You're not really putting in the work, the time, and the effort to get what it is out of life that you say you want. You're not doing that. And I just want to know, what can you do to do more? Kobe Bryant said that he worked out until complete exhaustion every day. He was completely exhausted. Now, physically, I understand how that works. But even in my own business, even in things that I need to be doing, I, am I am I worried about sleeping? Am I worried about, you know, getting some rest, staying in the bed, watching TV? Am I worried about this stuff? I mean, literally, I need you to understand, Kobe was on a different plane. He said his work ethic is what made him great. And so I, I'm, I'm just comparing myself, my actions. I'm like, if I'm, I, I, here's what I got. I got for myself that I'm treating my business like a hobby. Mm. I said hobby. Listen, when you only do your business when you feel like it, when you are only doing your business when you feel good or when you have energy or when you think that, you know, things are going great and then the minute it gets hard, you stop doing your business, then you are you got a hobby. You don't have a business, you got a hobby. So I, I said, Sharon, you know what? It's time to turn up. And I'm not talking about alcohol. I'm talking about turning up activity. Turning up every single day. What can I do in my idle time to work towards my business, to help someone, to coach someone, to get someone to the point where they are able to be touched, moved, and inspired and get their goals this year? My goal is to help you get your goal. Now, listen. You're not paying me a dime to help you get your goals, but I want you to understand that I am going to help you get your goals. First of all, have a goal every day. Whatever that goal is, make sure you're keeping track of it throughout your day. So let's just say your goal is sales. If you have a sales goal, you want to make sure you put that goal at the top of your paper. And every sales transaction you make, deduct it from with your original goal so you just keep deducting and listen don't go home until you get your goal do not stop until you get your goal some people don't even eat until they get their goal because that's a reward after they gotten their goal now i may take that on because i'm trying to lose a few pounds too but what i need you to understand is you gotta make sure that you're not treating your business like a hobby it's gotta be important to you it's got to be something that you know you need to do in order to get what it is you say you want. Ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Now, another thing that I got out of that leadership training when they was talking about Kobe the Black Mamba, Kobe studied Michael Jordan. He studied Michael Jordan so well to the point they played a video with Michael Jordan taking a shot and Kobe taking a shot. And really, you didn't know which one was which. Only the jersey told who was who. It was that identical from the foot being up in the air, the, the form, the body, everything was identical. So whatever it is that you're trying to do, are you studying the successful people in that?
And are you talking to them on a regular basis? And if you can't talk to them, are you reading their bio? Are you taking their classes? Are you communicating with them via um, social media? But find a way to study your craft. Don't just assume that you can just put activity together and success would automatically come. You have to make sure that your goals scare you and you got to make sure that you are getting those goals every single day. And there's some consequences behind you not getting your goal. Yes, I said consequences. So if you don't get your goal, what happens? Mm -hmm. Because if nothing happens, guess what? It's going to be okay for you not to get your goal. And it can't be okay. If it's okay in your in your world, it can't be okay in your mind. You have got to change your mind. You have got to change the way you're thinking about your, your goals and your dreams and the things that you're trying to accomplish. Failure can no longer be an option. Failure is something that you have to go after each and every day and say, look, I'm going after it just like it was day one. Not day two, not day three. You got to go after it. And you got to keep yourself motivated. You got to make sure you keep yourself motivated. So listen, let's be like Kobe. Let's study. Let's study our craft. Let's work hard to complete exhaustion. You know, there was a saying, and Mr. Dudley uh, L. Sr., when I go to his leadership meet, there's a saying he used to say to us all the time, man or woman's extremity is God's opportunity. Are you even getting to your extreme? Mm. Now, this is some questions Sharon been asking herself. So that's why I'm asking you. Have you even gotten to your extreme self yet? For God to even take over? All right. I just want you to know, you got to make sure that you are getting yourself fired up, motivated, and make sure you're getting yourself up every day and get on task to your goal. Don't wait. Do not wait, okay? Make sure you get on task to your goal. My daughter is calling me, and she see me, but she ain't coming to me. And she know I'm supposed to be doing my webcast. So I'm blowing my horn. This is real time, y'all. This is mommy in action right here, real time. Because not only do I have to take her home, I still got work to do in my business. I'm telling you. When you are a professional, there is no rest for the professional. Stop looking to rest. Matter of fact, get your energy high. Get your goals and things in front of you so that you don't need a whole lot of sleep. Four hours is really all you need. Trust me, four is good enough. But make sure you're productive. Everything you put your hands on is going to come to life this year. Make sure you're intentional about everything that you do. Anything that's not helping you and not getting you to where you need to come, then make sure where you need to go, then you got to cut it loose. You got to cut it loose. Make sure that you cut it loose just for this time period so you can get your goals, okay? All right, I ain't going to keep you long. Thank you for tuning in to us all about you. Come on, let's be some little black mambas in 2020 and work and put some activity in our business so that we can get the success we're looking for. Okay, I'll see y'all. Have a great day.